Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's me, simply the tacky bitch. <laughs> the tacky bee. Wow, it's really pink in here. Oh my god, guys, this is so elegant. I love this setting. <laughs> Welcome everyone, welcome on in, get in, let's go. It's Simply Saturday. It's also Menchi Saturday. She's there chilling finally. She's settled down. I'm so excited to see her. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Hello chat. We see lots of socks dancing. You guys like the intro music? <laughs> happy to catch a live. Live, I usually rewatch later. Well, we're happy to have you, Emma. Let's go, Bintendo. Bintendo must be tired. He's been streaming more than I have. Do you have your tea? No. Ben, where's my tea? <laughs> I just started painting my nails when I got the notification. Well, I hope you're careful when you're typing, always the butler. Don't tend the fresh manny. You have your oats? Perfect, Maya. Hello, Jennifer, Silly Munchkins, Mystical, Zippy, Cameron, Glamour Babiful, Katrina Cook, Angel Simmer, Jen Toro, Margo Rank. <laughs> Hello, Combo. Welcome to the mods, of course. Melon Nail Art as well. We got some tea emojis. Thank you. So all the Menchie gang members, Sock Squad members can use our special emojis. We got the tea. We got the Menchie saying hello. We got tea, man. Is your mega pint? This is my mega pint of tea. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> mm. You're definitely going to need tea for this stream. Because I suspect we're going to have some things that we're going to want to think and maybe not say. So we need some tea to sip, you know? We need to be like, mm-hmm, go on. Yes, go on. <laughs> Woo! What is, what is this? What is this, guys? This little piece of hair, it's, it's so tacky. It just keeps sticking, sticking out. What are you gonna do? I'm a 31 year old lady today being here with my Simply Fam on my birthday is the perfect start to, to my day. Happy birthday, Peach. Happy birthday, Peach Menchigang member. That's very exciting. 31 years old, oh my God. I still feel, I'm 30. When people ask how old I am, I'm like, I'm, I've been 30 for a while. It just, it doesn't, the number doesn't change after that. <laughs> Fun new music and a tropical mug. Are these hints? No. <laughs> I was just trying to theme the intro a little bit more to be a little more like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, a little tacky. Because that's what I am, right? Right? Apparently, according to the internet, um, I've seen, you know, here and there, it, it's not like it, this is new, but for some time there's been discourse on the internet about how to paint your nails, how to dress your nails, how to varnish your nails in order to look like an elegant lady. And I say the word lady because these people are using the word lady. It's not just me saying ladies only. I'm saying there's a lot of discourse on the internet and, you know, like etiquette classes that try and teach predominantly women how to manicure their nails properly so that they appear elegant and are seen by society as an elegant, high-class lady. <laughs> So that's the kind of content um, we're going to review today, you know. We're going to see what we think of that and see whether or not we agree. And uh, of course, this is going to call for a British accent because every time I think of fancy and proper, I think of Britain. So shout out and apologies to everyone in the UK <laughs> in advance. Oh, did I miss one? Whispering Gypsies, thank you for so much for the super chat. Just bought the mat, the toolkits, and some other polishes yesterday. I have almost everything Holo Taco has put out. Wow. Well, we are working on something for you. Okay, that's all I'll say. But thank you so much. I'm so excited. Yes, I've already seen people get like their tools and the mat, so that's really exciting. Welcome to the Menchie Gang. We got some new members. You are forgiven. Thank you, Carol. Hollow combos telling me to stop already. <laughs> I'm tactfully tacky. 
Do we have some tackies in the chat? Tackies in the chat? Yo, let's do a poll before I even begin, before I even show you what it is we're watching, what you think the definition of elegant or tacky is according to other standards. But let's just see how we would self-report. Let's define ourselves. Are your nails... Here, hold on. Let me rephrase this. Do you perceive this is such like a survey design thing your nails to be and we're gonna say tacky i just want to know oops can't spell it's my nails they're too long it's so hard to type <laughs> tacky elegant and uh neither i don't care <laughs> all right let's go self-report survey And yes, I understand that no one would call their own nails tacky. That's kind of the point. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Can't wait for what you have for us next. Holo from Punta Gorda, Florida. By the way, is that by the, by the way? Or is that like a, a part of Florida? <laughs> Just the way it's written. It's like Florida, BTW. <laughs> Thank you, Whispering Gypsies. Proudly tacky, tacky. I'm confused. <laughs> Yo, same. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean? I'm here to make it logical. Tacky for sure. Only hollow taco. <laughs> she said self-report and I thought of Among Us. I'll see myself out. Yeah, Katie. <laughs> you know what's funny? I know self-report became like a meme in words that people say uh, as a result of Among Us, like the video game that was huge like two years ago. Um, but in justice statistics like self-reported or in any statistics self-reported surveys are like so common so anytime i hear the word self-report i just think of like self-reported surveys <laughs> so when it became a meme i was just like oh cool people are using the words that i would use every day mine's black like my soul yeah i should have added that in the poll hollow like my soul short and simple depends on the hand yo same <laughs> is your other hand tacky <laughs> Depends on my mood. Yep. Tackies. No, not, no, not that kind of tackies. <laughs> Thanks to Hollow Taco, tacky nails aren't a problem for me anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Exactly. That's the mission of life. Okay. Uh, let's just show the poll. So most people were confused and said neither. And I think that that's, <laughs> that's the correct response. <laughs> because the point I was trying to prove is that what does the word tacky or elegant even mean? Most people don't care, they don't know, they mostly just manicure or don't manicure their nails in a way that they want to. So whether you want neon nail polish or you want hollow or you want black or you want nothing or you wanna be naked, no one really gives a shit because it doesn't matter. And most people don't, uh, I think, try and make their nails a certain way just to meet a certain expectation of being called elegant or whatever you know they're just like i like pink so i'm gonna put pink on or i like neutral colors so i will wear neutral colors or i am obsessed with hollow so i will have hollow nails yeah we're gonna deconstruct sociological <laughs> constructions of nail ideologies on this stream guys that's actually what we're doing this is a sociology class <laughs> okay um, in order to show you guys what I mean, let's start with a video. I found this video, actually Ben found this video, and we are going to do react content today, which means I will be watching some YouTube videos. I had asked you guys on Discord to throw me some um, video ideas about what is elegant nails versus what's tacky versus like any etiquette school type content about nails. Um, and I asked you guys to put that on Discord, so there is still a channel open if you want to throw some stuff in there. It's under the React content channel, uh, but there's already enough stuff in there, so I'm just going to start with our first example, which is actually from Ben. 
And yeah, just disclaimer about me doing react, react content. I'm not going to watch 100% of someone's video. I'm going to watch some of it and I'm, we're going to pause frequently in order to be transformative in nature and add value. So that is our goal here. Well, I'm not just going to sit here and watch entire videos and not say much. Someone tweeted it at you. Okay. Ben got the idea from someone else. First video is do's and don'ts, elegant nails from a YouTuber named Anna Bay. We are giving credit, yes. Um, also, do not, and I repeat, do not go to anyone's footage that we're showing here unless, like, I'm showing a fellow nail artist who we, like, you know, mutually love, etc. Do not go to people's social medias and shit on them, say anything rude. There's absolutely zero intent. I will not allow, accept anything negative coming out of any of you watching on any of these people's social media. This is content they chose to put on the internet, so um, we're just gonna watch it and talk about it. That's all, okay? We understand, we understand, yes. No, I'm not gonna pop off, we're just gonna, we're gonna have fun, this is for fun. <laughs> I need promises in the chat, no one's gonna do anything that I'm telling them not to do. Yes, ma'am, thank you, Hannah. Silly Munchkin says, got it. <laughs> Kiku says, yes, ma'am, let's go, okay. <laughs> yes, mom. All right, I'm glad we understand each other. Do's and don'ts, elegant nails. Do's and don'ts. Today we're going to discover what type of nails actually look elegant and what nails look unattractive. I don't want you... Guys, there are nails that look unattractive. Do we have any guesses? What type of nails are unattractive? What's an unattractive nail? <laughs> Does it have an ugly face on it? Like, what's going on? You to look tacky in any way or sort. I okay, want you good. to look like respectable, elegant ladies that you are. And therefore, we need to really dec- um, She's making assumptions. She's making an assumption that I'm a respectful, elegant lady. I do not appreciate that. Code. Those details... Remember, I talk about the details all the time, how to perfect them in a way that speaks loads about you without actually having to make too much effort. Because I So look elegant and beautiful without effort. Yes, that is what all women aspire to do. We just want to look like we put so much effort in, but actually did absolutely nothing. It's the no makeup makeup look. I believe that most of us do our nails at some point, right? However, choose an appearance of your nails that would signal that you are a sophisticated lady rather than a tacky lady. I'm excited to learn. <laughs> Guys, don't say you hate her. This is funny. We can all agree this is already funny. Like it's 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 been like 43 seconds and I want to laugh. Ali get real. If she were really practicing what she's preaching, she would have tucked in her lavalier mic. <laughs> Yo, mics are not elegant. Look how big this mic is. It is so ugly and so tacky. I am the tackiest of them all. The least I could do is have a tiny little mic because I am a tiny little woman. <laughs> My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. What? <laughs> why, are we, why do we have another intro? Why do we have another intro? I'm so confused. We all have different likes POV, so totally fine that she likes her nails her way. I can fall under tacky, but I can respect her view. Exactly, Jen. Like, she may wish to have her opinion and view of how she wants to do her nails. I guess our critical, you know, theoretical deconstruction here is the imposition that she is inevitably putting on other people based on the language choice. <laughs> So, ladies, I'm so happy to have you back here with me and I want to jump straight into the topic of elegant nails, do's and don'ts because first of all, we need to definitely talk about what makes nails unattractive. Yes, this, this, ah! why, why did she sit with him? Look at the, look at the sound, hold on. First of all, we need to definitely talk about what makes nails unattractive. We need to definitely talk about what makes nails unattractive. <laughs> yeah, I love those nails. What the hell? Why was that like a jump scare? 
And hands are important. Don't forget that people do notice your hands a lot because when we talk, like I'm doing right now, we gesticulate with our hands. So they are showing a lot. Therefore, you cannot cheat with the nails because people are you going to notice with the nails. whether you like it or not. You cannot cheat with the nails. So what does that mean? Like she's suggesting that if you have tacky nails, in her opinion, you're cheating and that other people are going to realize you're cheating at how to be a perfect, sophisticated lady. So that is not allowed. There's a lot of finger wagging in this video. I would say she is definitely not wearing sweatpants. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't think so. I kind of, she, what do you think she's wearing? Probably like a pair of black slacks, maybe some skinny jeans. <laughs> Is this, uh, is this going to be what men like? Because I sense no long nails advice coming. Um, I, I don't know if, the, if her content is targeting women for the purposes of acquiring men. I know there is content on the internet like that. Uh, or if this is just about targeting women who want to be perceived as like classy ladies. And this all reminds me of like some TLC show I saw a long time ago that was about going to etiquette school where they were trying to teach women how to be like proper sophisticated ladies and I think the undertone in my opinion of a lot of that is like in order to be perceived by men as worth marrying I'm not saying that's like always true but that's just the undertone I get in a lot of these types of classes is like you are doing this for the purposes of eventually looking like a woman that a man would want to marry Ben that's the sound a man makes when your nails are tacky oh my god <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then they run this is a social etiquette video yeah i checked out her instagram and she's absolutely positions herself as like a social etiquette coach can menchi be any cuter no <laughs> thank god i'm a lesbian <laughs> yeah <laughs> yo I'm a lesbian with hollow nails. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. But in what society? Yo, good fucking point. I feel like the society that is looking for this, uh, that uses this in their daily life and that wants lessons like this is shrinking. I don't know. Not in my society, but yes, people like this exist. There are people who still absolutely believe in these more traditional gender roles and traditional expectations of how a woman should present herself and uh, how a woman should present herself to be worthy of marriage, which is also incredibly traditional. So obviously, I feel like no one in this chat <laughs> buys into any of that. Um, and then on a more general level, I just feel like the, the majority of society has been moving away from this type of ideology for for decades. And it's slowly just but surely getting inside. smaller I'd love to see someone out from a sociological perspective, of course. Cosmic Keyframe Productions just saying, if I was courting someone, I'd love to see someone outwardly express themselves creatively instead of fitting in an elegant mold. Exactly what Ben saw in me. He's like, yo, your nails are sick. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about what's unattractive. Okay, attractive I need to nails. Learn. I think we all know nails that look unhygienic. I don't know why As an example, like... those ladies who have, ladies longer, who have nails, longer nails, do they keep them clean underneath? Okay, unhygienic is is one thing. I feel like that's not the, you know we're not gonna shit on everything that's said here. Unhygienic, you know, can be dirty. You want you don't want food under there. I can absolutely understand that. Here, very important. It's not desirable. I don't know if tacky is the word. I would use doing my nails with work bestie twilight shimmer and flash drive is that tacky hmm. Let, let's ask let's type in the comments <laughs> yo i think that's that's a beautiful combination <laughs> of course we don't want to have chipped nails or ch chipped <laughs> nail polish i think why the of course I, I just want to know why polish is a serious issue because it really does signal that a person is how can i say lazy however like okay lazy not not actually lazy just lazy in quotations i don't know what, what the difference is but um even i 
even I, someone who is obsessed with manicuring my nails, and you know I never have chipped nails just because I'm always painting my nails, even I do not give a shit if someone's nails are chipped. <laughs> like, I don't care. I would never think that therefore they are lazy. Like, I don't understand. It's a serious issue, guys. It's a serious issue that's affecting youth. It's affecting middle-aged ladies. It's affecting even senior ladies. It's a big problem. Um, yeah, we definitely need some societal intervention against chipped nail polish. <laughs> Where did they get a picture of Ben's nails? <laughs> ladies, there is something called life, and things happen in life. Okay, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, ladies. She forgives you. There's something called life. And sometimes a nail polish will chip, and we don't have time to urgently go and fix the nail. Sometimes our first priority in life is not fixing the chip of the nail. I can't believe me, Simply Nail Logical, is saying this, but guys, I mean, ladies, I have to admit it is true. Sometimes there's more important things than rushing home and repainting your nail. <laughs> Or sometimes we even have to wait in order to get an appointment. An appointment? <gasps> Does she not do her own nails? Oh my god, so lazy. For this reason, I don't think it's a catastrophe if you happen to have chip nail polish one day. But ladies, it's about you walking around with it and not fixing it that becomes a problem. Just so I understand, I just want to make sure I'm getting the information in this class correct. If you chip your nail, it's okay because life happens, ladies. Maybe you were gardening. Maybe you were uh, wrapping gifts for your husband. Maybe you were cooking for your husband at home. Um, but make sure, you know, within a reasonable amount of time, you go back to the salon and get that nail fixed before it becomes an issue in your marriage. <laughs> It's like the five second rule, right? Simply is confusion. I'm going to get somebody else to get my nails. It's not a problem anymore. Yeah, then how do you fix them? You go back to the salon and you pay for a whole new manicure. I mean, your husband pays for a whole new manicure, obviously. Danny, lady, talks about people always noticing hands. Me, thinks about my hands always having ink stains and sometimes wild polish. Yeah, that's right for me. Yeah, if anyone out there dyes their hair, um, it, that's a problem because your nails are just con and your fingers are constantly discolored. No man is ever going to want to marry you. <laughs> I feel like she's about to tell me to get up and work because she doesn't <laughs> feel like people want to work anymore. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know. Like, I'd kind of be curious. I mean, we're not going to go down this rabbit hole. I don't want to personally investigate her but I almost feel like she seems like the type of person who would teach classes on how to n not work that much but still how to make money I don't know what it is I kind of get those vibes I would not be surprised if she is a form of life coach or selling classes oh my god Anna is hosting a free workshop hurry up to register before doors close to get on the wait list for my programs, for more information of the secrets of elite women. All right, guys. I mean, ladies. <laughs> you know where to go. You know where to go for help. It's definitely not here. It's, uh, oh, it's over there. So please, no chip nail polish. And I have actually a really good tip if you are somebody who uses regular nail polish and you just feel like you are not keeping up with your nails often enough because it requires a lot of upkeep if you use a regular nail. What do you think she's going to say? Use gel? I have not pre-watched this. But she keeps saying regular nail polish. I wonder if she's going to be like, go to the salon, pay $80, get full shellac. Polish. That's why. Oh my I God. I swear to God, I didn't watch this on purpose. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> she, yeah. I'm going to use shellac 
because it simply lasts longer. So that's a little tip from me if you feel like your nail polish chips too often. Now let's talk about elegant nail colors because of course there are some colors that screams elegance and some that don't. Okay. Oh, I love those! Yo, that looks nice. Wonder how she feels about peelies. Yo, I want to send her some peelies. <laughs> I'm going to be like... Do you, I peeled off my peely so elegantly for you. There's a video attached. How dare you slander blue like this? This is a stunning creme. I love this metallic. This is probably one of those powder, powder, um, powder metallics. Mm, the glitter. This looks beautiful. Look at that like jean jacket matching. I love the shot outside. This lady goes outside, you know, like, damn, I don't even go outside. <laughs> and if you want to have elegant nails in particular, then of course you should apply the more elegant okay, type what? of code of nail condom. Guys, there's a code of nail condom? Menchie, why didn't you tell me? What's, where's the code? When was this written into law? Conduct. So those colors are, and I will start with French manicure, not that it is a color, but just so that you understand the concept. Do you guys understand the concept of French manicure? These look like hot dogs. These look like that picture on the internet where someone put press on French tips on hot dogs. Do you guys know what I mean? I'm going to find it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. French tip, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> French manicure will always be very timeless and very classic and very elegant. Now, one important thing with French is that I do want to dissect this though, right? Because I've always said as simply and illogical, boring nails or ten French uh, ten French tips that aren't boring. I know I made a video on that because I was making fun of the boring French manicure. But like is the reason that people perceive the French manicure to be elegant be, is because it's closer to the natural nail. It's basically just like enhancing the natural nail. Like seriously, serious question. No, <laughs> no sarcasm. I think that's it, right? Hold on. Let me go back to her like example picture. I mean, this doesn't look natural. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that's way too light first of all for that to like actually look like that person's nails but yeah I I think that's why it's like it's adding it's the no makeup makeup look for nails exactly Katie so that's what's elegant is that we are trying to look like ourselves but enhance we're trying to trick people into thinking that our natural appendages our fingers uh are better than they actually are by not convincing them that we have done, oh, we've overdone it and added color because obviously no one believes, you know, this is my natural <laughs> nail color. <laughs> but why is color not elegant? I guess that's my question. Because I, I, I like to, you know, why can't we be a lady <laughs> with colorful nails? If we can wear, can we wear colorful dresses? I don't understand. What about the sundresses? You can't wear sundresses that aren't the color of your skin. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Trying to reach that effortless look. Yeah, except this actually takes effort. Like, this is a lie. In order to do this, it would take you, it would take you more time to do this than just to paint your nails blue. I think we need to teach Anna something. <laughs> the concept French manicure will always be very timeless and very can look tacky and that's when you oh okay so not all French manicures are elegant some of them can look tacky I'm guessing she's gonna say these are too long <laughs> I have a thick white thick. line. I have here a thin white line and that's the type of appearance that you should have if you want to have elegant French manicure. Other colors are also classic red. Oh, so we, we're allowed colors. Okay. Burgundy. 
I have some shades that qualify. I'm over Rue. <laughs> nude colors and pink shades so mm -hmm. basically nothing that is too crazy <laughs> guys you can't have colors that are crazy i think she means hollow I think she's calling me insane. Yeah. <laughs> so basically on a scale of um, red to hollow, we're, we're insane. <laughs> we're absolutely insane. This woman thinks salt is spicy. Yeah, maybe. Yo, should we send her some PR? <laughs> I don't see an address, but that'd be hilarious. <laughs> she does sponsorships. All I do is crazy. Yeah, this everyone in this chat is insane. Not gonna lie, these tips on how to look elegant are so Eurocentric, Eurocentric and honestly perpetuates this view that the aesthetics of POC women are. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think that there's a big undertone of that in um, her description of tacky nails and even her like choices of what to show for that. So that's absolutely, I think, an underlying bias that she and other people who perpetuate this idea of what is elegant includes. Um, that's not the only thing, but that's absolutely something to keep in mind. If you want to have like something a bit more bold, then it's definitely the classic red, the burgundy, but you can actually also do a plum. Guys, we are allowed to do plum. Okay, good. <laughs> um, colors that are not elegant, on the other hand, are anything that looks artificial. So, let so you're telling me plum looks realistic? You're telling me that dark red looks realistic? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. If we can't use colors that are artificial, meaning like we couldn't have grown them from our bodies, then how can we have dark plum? I mean, I, I haven't seen a human who's dark plum or dark red, but, um, you know, you tell me if I'm wrong. Also, this color is, is like pretty neutral on some people. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's say green, blue, or green, blue, orange, orange turquoise, turquoise. turquoise, you name it. Also neon colors or nail art. Nail art. What? Did she, did she just say no nail art? You name it. Also neon colors or nail art. Nail art just does not look elegant. I know that there are even affluent ladies who do nail art on their nails and sometimes it can look cute or interesting. However, I wouldn't call it elegant. I personally think that it... <laughs> Yo, she just said, I know there are rich ladies who do nail art. Even though there's rich people who I love and, you know, relate to who do nail art, they really shouldn't be doing that because they look like they're poor. <laughs> what? What in the sentence is this? <laughs> Sometimes it can look cute or even interesting. However, this sounds like a term paper written by a 16 year old <laughs> like her their argument is not an argument like sometimes it can look cute or interesting i know rich ladies do it however it looks juvenile i rest my case because i am the ethical standard on um you know elegance in society for lady objection hearsay <laughs> objection speculation and when I said a 16-year-old writing a term paper, I don't mean all 16-year-olds. I just mean the expectations for a research paper 
when you're in high school require you to just lay out an argument in like a sentence or two. Um, you don't always need to necessarily unpack it and provide a whole bunch of research. You just kind of like write it because you're learning how to structure an essay with like your thesis statement. That's how I feel like this script is. <laughs> Objection foundation. What what are your credentials? Is this an expert witness? I, I would object to that. <laughs> okay, let's see what she has to say about why it's juvenile. It looks a little bit juvenile and not so much in the elegant category. But if you want to do nail art, okay, that is up to you. I would personally not do it. However, make sure at least that you find some form of nail art that looks more sophisticated than others, if I can <laughs> express it that way. Now, how long? What? Do you see what I mean by her argument? It just kind of, it doesn't really land. However, nail art looks juvenile, according to her. Like, it looks like it's for kids, I guess. But if you want to do it, that's up to you. But, like, don't come running when your man doesn't want to marry you. <laughs> At least do one that's elegant. That's the least you could do, even if you're a rich lady like me. Did you do nail art? You're going to jail. Guys, I'm going to prison for life. Nail art that looks more sophisticated than others, if I can express it that way. Now, how long should a nail be in order to appear elegant? Oh, this will be good. This will be great, guys. Um, let me guess. Our nail should be your length. Definitely elegant nails are either short or mid-length. You can have a bit longer nails if you want, but I think that it has to somehow still look natural. If you have longer nails, I'm just <laughs> I'm doing the in between the lines. Um, if you have longer nails, you do risk not getting that man to marry you and looking tackier. So, you know, you might want to follow my advice. I cannot guarantee my classes will work for you unless you follow them to a T. Right now we have this big trend of very long nails I don't when was this posted 2021 right now there's a tr a trend of very long nails I I don't okay maybe I'm just like way too into nails so that I don't come at it from a more omniscient perspective but I have never really considered there to have ever been a trend of long nails or short nails like to me people are always going to have long nails short nails somewhere in between it's not really a trend trends are like oh, okay, magnetic polish is exploding now or um, everyone's doing pastels right now or everyone's doing like a naked manicure where you can see the lines and there's like nail art around it. That's trends to me. I've never really witnessed like there's lo long nails are currently a trend, right? Like am I right, wrong? I don't know. It's hard when you're so inside the community, you don't see it from outside. But if there's anyone who's like outside the nail community. Most people get long fake nails now. They are in. They are. I guess I've always been in style then. <laughs> Just, I mean, I don't have fake nails, but I have long nails. And I've always had long nails ever since I started growing them in 2014. Maybe in the pandemic, people went natural. Yeah, that's totally right. So isn't that the opposite? Take her to simply court. Yeah, we're in court right now. I'm going to need some uh, expert witness testimony about this because I, I do not believe long nails are a trend right now. I think long nails are worn all across history by different people at different times. I don't really understand any of that, to be honest. <laughs> I want to play that back. Right now we have this big trend of very long nails. I don't really understand any of that, to be honest. Do you think we would be friends? I'm trying to wonder what it would be like to go to lunch with her. I feel like she'd be the person who keeps asking the waiter for something that, like, you really don't need. <laughs> But you have to have them natural looking. If you are unsure, try and keep them as short as possible. You can either keep them very short or I have mine like, well, I wouldn't call this medium. 
So good news, because we did a poll not that long ago when I did the short nail stream. Uh, the majority of you have short nails. So you guys are elegant. <laughs> good news for you guys. Bad news for the 12% of us who have my nail length and longer. Uh, Skylark, so I have chipped bright colored nail art, but my nails are short, so I might still get a man. Maybe. You might get like, not the highest quality man, just like a semi-quality man. <laughs> Ben is, I think Ben is the most elegant lady out there, according to this definition, you know. We could do a little French tip Manny on Ben. Thank God my nails broke. No man for you, hollow combo. <laughs> I feel like she's trying to explain royal manicure rules. Oh, yeah, I do want to talk about that, the, like, SE and the queen. We'll talk about that after. But... They're definitely not long. <laughs> I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen right now to show you an example of how long I think maximum an elegant nail should go, in my personal opinion. Now, ladies, I hope you no, have some. I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen right now to. I wanna uh, dispel a myth about nail length because although you can control to some extent the length of your nail that grows past your fingertip, right? By filing it or not filing it. Uh, by growing it out if you take care of it and don't break it, um, or just by keeping it short with clippers if you have to for your career. You cannot change the length of the nail in the nail bed. So meaning the distance between here and the tip of your finger, you can't really tell where the tip of their finger is, but like probably there, you can't change that length, by the way. Some people are blessed with incredibly long <laughs> nail beds to the point that even if their nails are like shaved down to the to their fingertips, it still looks like they have long nails. And then there's other people who have shorter nail beds just because that's literally their body. You cannot change that. So I feel like I really resent this whole idea of um, d saying exactly how long your nail should be when some people physically can't even have them at this length because their nail beds might be just much shorter. This person to me, just from observing, looks like they have long nail beds and then there's a little bit uh, grown past the nail tip. But like that's still long. You think cat hair nails are elegant? Because I have lots. I do. I love cat hair nails. Every time I get a Menchie hair in, <laughs> look at Menchie. Every time I get a Menchie hair in, I'm like, mm, elegant. <laughs> Your nail bed is so short. Yeah, exactly. Some people have short nail beds and you can't change the length of your nail bed. You can change or with effort and time how much nail grows past your nail bed. But if you work in an industry where you need to have short nails, where it's hard to keep your nails long because you're doing things with your hands, maybe you're Meredith Grey, okay? Meredith Grey in the OR cannot have long nails because they're probably going to poke through her gloves and she needs to do her job. Does that mean Meredith Grey is a tacky lady? <laughs> Wait, I mean, not a tacky lady. <laughs> this woman is just calling simply not elegant. Yeah, I'm going to rename my channel now. Simply not elegant. <laughs> to show you an example of how long I think maximum an elegant nail should go, in my personal opinion. Yo, what's in her closet? This is all I need to know. Opinion. <laughs> now, ladies, I hope you have enjoyed my video. We in did. my next video, 10 tips on how you can look effortlessly expensive ten, wait, was and that put ten together. Tips? I'm going to give you more oh. tips on how you can look your best. So make sure you watch that video after this video. Guys, make sure, I mean, ladies, make sure you watch that video. <laughs> okay, that was excellent. Um, love this kind of content. I love that this is also coming out in 2021. The year is 2021 and uh, people, people do this. People think like this. People put this into the world. <laughs> and I mean, it's it's fine. I do acknowledge that she did say in my personal opinion a couple times. Um, but, you know, I'm still going to dislike this video. <laughs> but don't worry. She's not going to see my dislike because they don't show dislikes on YouTube anymore. Yo, what are the comments? I kind of want to know. 
My mom always told me growing up that you should never paint your nails a shade of lipstick you wouldn't wear as lipstick. Or sorry, a shade you wouldn't wear as lipstick. Well, your mom is wrong. Why would you listen to your mom? Your mom grew up 40 years ago. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yo, these comments are great though. Finally, someone who addressed the long tacky nail issue. Thank you for this video. I would like to see one on foot care and pedicure as well. Nothing ruined the look more than being head to ankle elegant and having unkept feet. Thank you, Anna, for all that you do. (laughs) Do you like my feet? (laughs) I mean, there is an audience for this, I guess. I agree with neon colors being tacky and juvenile. However, I believe a dark green, deep blue can be elegant, even though they're not natural. Okay, we've we've got some debate even in the elegance community. It's amazing just how many people are like, yes, please do this with everything. I need to learn. This is correct. Now I like short nails better. Do you think she deletes her negative comments? Maybe. Oh, look, we've got some people saying no, but DIY, see? Okay, so she left that one up. This is needed because some of the nails I've been seeing are interesting. I think um, Mrs. Oletta saw me on Instagram. (laughs) I'm so happy we are finally talking about this topic because no one wants to talk about how disgusting society has become with people with sparkly nails. It's just awful. Absolutely, we are going downhill. Clicking the like button with my holographic kitty claws. Oh, yo, it's one of us. Wait, are you joking? Why are you looking at the like button? (laughs) <laughs> uh-oh interestingly we we men need to know a little more about this expertise that involves elegance and fine class it helps to understand this lovely female being the woman gratitude and this is what i meant there is an audience for everyone there are people like antonio out there who are seeking The perfect lady with the perfect set of nails. Why don't we teach men about what to look for in a woman's nails? This is so sad. Yo, it is, but it's like so sad. I have to laugh because like, who the fuck are these people? (laughs) Yeah, I know. I live in a bubble. I for sure do where no one I know in my personal life behaves like this, thinks like this. They would all be like, what? (laughs) These are humans who exist. However, I still acknowledge that yes, these people exist and there are people, including people in the chat who have been hurt by people who think this way. So I just want to be sensitive to that, but then also acknowledge that like, yes, I personally think all of this is ridiculous. Oh my God. Yeah. Not a guy calling a woman a female. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Females need to manicure their nails a certain way. Um, What would she think about me using a tampon to remove my nail polish because I couldn't find cotton balls, cutting them short and using all the hollow? Yeah, good question. I assume she would think that's that's unladylike. You should not even acknowledge that you know what a tampon is because that's just disgusting. Don't do that, (laughs) would be my guess. What did Ben say? She's not going to sleep with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me, um, I'm going to find another video. So in the discord, someone else, Shira left one called how to have elegant and beautiful nails. So let's watch that one. Let me just get that one up. 
So How to Have Elegant and Beautiful Nails by Jamila Musayeva. Again, I have not pre-watched any of these, but wow, it looks like they do a bunch of etiquette stuff. It's super long. Okay, yeah, let's do double speed. I really liked the shortness of Miss Anna's. Well, let's play it normally just to, I want to, I like to hear how someone speaks first. Guys, it's etiquette class. Hello, I'm Jamila Musaiva, an international social etiquette consultant. I love these people. I love people who call themselves social etiquette, like consultants, experts, whatever it is. Like, I don't even know why this is a discipline. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Someone teach me. I have my master's in sociology and I do not understand why social etiquette is a discipline. <laughs> Someone did. I feel like all those commenters were Chad's and Karen's. Yeah. <laughs> and the author of two books, Etiquette, The Least You Need to Know, and Afternoon Tea Etiquette. Also with the tiny channel, lapel please mic. Please make sure to subscribe. And if you're an old subscriber, uh, welcome back to my sorry, channel. Sorry, guys. It says uh, captions aren't available on Jamila's video. Otherwise, I would have them on because today's topic is dedicated to something you've been requesting me to do a video about and that's about nail etiquette. I've been sharing a lot of videos where I'll talk about different things and there'll be glimpses of my hands here and there and I was quite surprised by the, okay, just let's just get the, to the idea good part. of what uh, you don't then have to wait and sit around for like for a regular nail polish to dry. Does she not so show nails? A bit more faster and efficient what? in that way as well How as can you? longer lasting than a regular nail polish. It works for me. I am in no ways advocating for the use of shellac. Please uh, show nails. If you are to UV light or any kind of substance that's used in the shellac itself. So I'm not advocating you to switch to that. But if you are fine with that, then shellac definitely serves a much longer time. Okay, she also is recommending shellac because it lasts longer. I don't want us to have to sit through 17 minutes of um, staring at a basket of roses. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> Yo, why does she match her flowers? <laughs> I mean, hey, I like to match things. I like to match my nails to my scrunchie to my hoodie. So, you know, it's fine. <laughs> this brush to sort of clean the underneath of your fingers like okay that. cleaning under the Especially nails same thing anna said home or if you are into gardening make sure that you have this little brush in your bag if you have really long nails second uh, most important element about the nails is the shape of the nail and that's important because i think you should choose the shape that suits your personality your character your lifestyle your occupation so maybe if you're in that's not wrong you should choose the well i don't know about personality i'm like what 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 shape of your nail suits your personality <laughs> i've never heard that no, I think like, I think you shape your nails based on what makes sense practically for you, honestly. So whether you like to have really long nails that are pointy or square or whatever, and you like to paint them and you just think it looks better on your fingers, that's fine. But if you need them shorter for your job or your lifestyle, absolutely. They should debate. Yeah, they should debate. I'd love to see that. They'd probably debate so elegantly. Can you imagine? Well... In my personal opinion, I don't think those flowers match. <laughs> in the art, you can let yourself, you know, have stiletto nails. If you are in a more corporate world, you might want to go for a more classical shape, which is an oval round or square shape or a squoval, which is square and oval shape. So it has to really suit your personality and whatever that you... It d okay. The nail shape does not need to suit your personality because I don't know what that means. Is there a personality test for nails? Because I would take it. If someone finds me a personality test for nails, I'll take it. I feel like she's whispering. Why are we whispering? Yeah, I don't know. Why are you whispering, Jamila? Is it because whispering is ladylike? Is it because you don't want to be too loud? It's because you got to let men be louder than you. Actually, that's why. We should be doing ASMR instead because I don't want to scare the men. Pan! Pan! Pan, I'm whispering for you. Ben, do you think I'm tacky? <laughs> ben, I'll paint my nails neutral. French tip for you. <laughs> and I'll let you have the tacky nails. Oh, 
guys, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Veggie! <laughs> also, yes, her video's just quiet. Cause she's a, well, cause she's a soft-spoken lady. I mean, like, what are, what are we saying here? Yeah, you don't want to scare the menchi you are doing um i think i really like when your whole look is kind of wholesome so everything about you speaks to your lifestyle your occupation your profession and the message that you're carrying with yourself i used to be a fan of oval nail shape i used to always have my nails oval because i like how it elongated visually my fingers but over time with the children i realized that uh, they somehow broke much faster i don't know why but also they were quite pointy after a while the people of north america uh, don't care, but Europeans do. It's a good thing to know rules for social situations. Jamila is much less condescending than Anna. This is a really good question, Denise. Um, yeah, something that I am absolutely not in the know of as a Canadian lady. <laughs> I was absolutely raised in a place, location, society where no one really tried, I mean, I'm not going to say no one, it was absolutely instilled in the media to some extent, but in my personal existence, life, teachers, parents around me, no one was trying to tell me I had to dress a certain way to appear sophisticated or ladylike. Like, that was not my personal experience. And I understand that that's probably less likely, increasingly over time less likely in North America. But I do see this kind of comment from people in Europe. And that's where... The, the Britain, you know, British humor with my little proper accent comes into play. Yes. So there are absolutely cultural differences. And I guess I just, I wonder to to what extent though, right? Um, European here, we don't give a crap. No one cares in the Netherlands. We had uniforms, so everyone was ladylike. Yeah, I don't think any person's individual experience is going to apply to, as a blanket statement for sure right like just because one european says you know you must be proper i'm sure there's other europeans who are like no one cares to that extent uh from carol to be honest living in the uk where most of the nation love the queen i can see that point a lot of brits especially women want to be posh rimmel london <laughs> Yo, i wanted to be posh actually i lied i take back what i said i wanted to be posh when i was growing up I saw a lot of ads that were like, Rimmel London. And uh, yeah, I, I wanted to be fancy too. So occasionally I practiced the British accent and said, therefore, I am queen. <laughs> European and people around me kind of cared. Yeah, maybe we, some people in North America also who have European roots or had immigrated from Europe might care. So there's probably North Americans who are like, oh my God, my family is insane about this shit. Mm hmm. None of my friends' colleagues in real life actually care about nails. That's from Melon, who's in Europe. Who was your favorite Spice Girl? Uh, I think Ginger Spice or Sexy Spice, whatever. I think she changed her name. <laughs> Jerry Halliwell was my favorite. Because I, I loved that her dress, like what she wore, was always like the wildest. I mean... That was the stereotype. Obviously, they were all playing into stereotypes, including Posh Spice. Ben's favorite was Posh Spice. <laughs> Rich, white, classist societies care about this crap, not just Europeans as a whole. Yeah, like I was kind of saying, I don't think there's any statement to blanket over Europe. Um, one person's experience is going to be different than others. And a lot of this does come with some classist undertones for sure even in what miss anna was saying like in order to do all the things she's suggesting you need to do to be a fancy lady is like you have to go to the salon and get it maintained and that's not free We have too many good comments here. I feel like people in my home country, the Philippines, would care, especially the older people. It's definitely a generational thing. Like my grandmothers, when I was growing up, did have things to say about what I was wearing when I was in my Avril Lavigne stage. 
But like, I also feel like today they don't care. They, they gave up. They stopped caring. <laughs> but there's absolutely people's parents and grandparents who still care. There is a nail shape personality test. Oh my God, put it in the Discord. Simply Discord the React content and I can find it there. It's a generational thing? Yeah. Fun fact, when I was in elementary school, I went to an academy and we weren't allowed to paint our nails any other color than neutral uniform colors, white, beige, and even then you had to be 13 plus. I've seen this comment quite a lot. Uh, from people who sent fan mail and just comments on my videos that people weren't allowed to paint their nails certain colors in a uniform school. I never had that experience because I never went to a school with uniforms, but I knew people who went to uniform schools. And yeah, I it just kind of sucks that that's what the education system is so focused on. Like you can't have anything that will distract from uh, like their, their argument is you can't wear anything that could hypothetically distract from learning. Like, yes, because my nails are pink, all of a sudden the whole class is going to turn around and be like, I can't study right now. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. From Dominique, thank you for the super chat. As an autistic etiquette, uh, as an autistic etiquette is the worst. It's a as bunch of rules that make no sense, but worse. you're excluded if it's you don't have, if you don't perfectly no behave and appear this way. Yeah, and I think a lot of people probably feel like that, but I can absolutely see how certain communities and groups feel worse by it because there's so many things about these teachings that are exclusionary, especially related to class and, like, income inequality. Like, you're not going to be, like, how, how do we look like this if we you do not have the money to look like this? <laughs> and also just how your face is born. There's some people whose faces are just never going to look like this, like this pretty little fragile woman, you know, image that she's trying to portray. Came from a non-posh background, now in a posh lifestyle. Thank you, Jen. So I was poor lol. Came from a non-posh background, now in a posh lifestyle, so I was poor lol. If I want to fit in, I need to adjust. Unfortunately, in... I society the society in US judges so hard that I have to move ahead yeah I'm not saying that North America doesn't judge trust me North America absolutely judges in different ways but I do think there's a little bit of um of a lax in terms of like what color your nails are and how that matters not always there's absolutely some uh, like corporate industries some schools in the u.s that probably that think like this <laughs> or that behave like this but yeah it does seem to be on a country level wide basis a little bit more of this is instilled in people in um parts of europe than maybe north america All right, Ben just sent me something. I'm going to see what it is. After count Oh my god. Okay, we're watching this. <laughs> Next up, thank you Ben. Okay, there's captions on this one. Yeah, I'm, we're just going to leave this lady behind. Sorry, lady. You're done. <laughs> we accept that we're not elegant according to your standards. Okay. Ben sent this from the Steve TV show. A dating guide based on nails, Steve Harvey. Oh my God, I remember this growing up in my child, I, childhood. I can't wait. It says 2019. Countless hours of research. Uh, my next guest says that he's broken the code and come up with a foolproof dating guide for men. A foolproof dating guide for men. He claims that you can decode a woman's personality based on her nails. Everybody, please welcome Rocky. Wait, wait. We need that based freeze frame on off her going nails. Like this. Everybody, please welcome Rocky. Everybody, please welcome Rocky. <laughs> the man is here to tell us all to warn other men about um, what to look out for in a woman's nails. Teach us, Rocky. Is it what Anna said? I would like to know. Do you think him and Anna are colluding? I can't wait for this. Is this Polly D? 
it, guys, it's DJ Polly D. Cabs are here. Ladies are here. <laughs> I think I know what this is. I think this was like a viral TikTok, but we'll see. Rocky, nice to meet you, man. Me too. <laughs> so, Ladies in the audience cannot wait. <laughs> Did you create this nail guide for me? I'm really wanting to know be honest, about just, this. Be honest, you know, to save all my bros around the world, you know? To save all my bros around the world, you know? I feel like guys already know what kind of girls that they want. They just need a little bit more guidance, a little bit more planning before they make that, you know? Guys already know what kind of ladies they deserve, okay? But before they waste any time talking to a lady who's not going to turn out to be classy or worth it, Here's a guide to know how to not waste your time so you get the right amount of return on investment in your woman. No full-time investment. Really? Yeah. So what type of information can you gather about a woman based on her nails? <laughs> Yo, he's an expert witness. <laughs> nail psychology. Wow, that's a new field. I'd love to study. It's everything. You gotta, you gotta understand, when girls go into a nail salon, when they choose those nails, that, that's their personality, that's her mood. So pretty much you can know if her, you know, car is messy, you can know if her, you know, she's crazy. <laughs> Wait, is she crazy because her car is messy? <laughs> insurance. Really? Yeah. Wait, why did he say insurance? What? You can know if her, you know, she's crazy. Insurance. Really? I don't, I don't even understand. Like, what, what does that mean? If her car is messy, if she's crazy, you know, insurance. Does that mean, like, making sure you have insurance before you engage with the lady? I don't understand. Speaking of insurance, um, men have much higher insurance rates on automobile insurance than women. Because statistically, men are far more likely to get into car accidents. <laughs> Fun fact, but statistically accurate. <laughs> or you can tell by her nails that she doesn't have car insurance. Yeah, totally. Guys, I, you, what does this tell you about my insurance? <laughs> really? Yeah. So what do you look at when you're decoding a woman's nails? The most important thing is the color. So... When you go into the nude colors, that's going to be your safe zone. Anna agrees. Then you got your uh, black and white and French nails. That's going to be your 50-50. Wait, so black, black nails are okay? Why? I think he, he's going to need to explain why. Okay, I can understand because, you know, we have inter-rater reliability between him and Anna that nude nails are okay. But why are black nails okay? That's like on the opposite end of the color spectrum as Newt. <laughs> Explain yourself. 50 chance, you know, might be crazy, might be not me, you know, you, never, you, never, you don't know, you don't know, you know, might get health insurance, might not. What? Might get, might get health insurance. I'm, apologies for being a Canadian here, but is it be, like, are, is he trying to say that you might get health insurance because you have enough money or you might not get health insurance because you don't have enough money? Is that what I'm supposed to read from that? Or is he saying, like, you might be responsible enough to get health insurance, assuming you can, or irresponsible to not get it? What is that? What, what does that mean? Black nails equals health insurance? Hold on, I'm painting my nails nudes. I need health insurance. Not about money, just responsible. Okay. So he's saying that if you have black or white nails, it could be a 50-50 whether or not they're responsible enough to get health insurance. As an American, I have no clue what he's getting. <laughs> what? I mean, I did not think that getting health insurance was just a question of your responsibility. I thought it was highly related to your ability to afford it. You're taking notes? Stop. Stop taking notes. I am lost, says Melon, a European. <laughs>
This guy needs insurance. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'd like to see his research data. Yeah, same. Then you got then you got the bright colors, which is you know you got the red, the green, the blue, the, anything on the rainbow. That's how you know that's that's the danger colors. The rainbow scares him. Wow, what a life to lead, where the rainbow is scary. Any color means there's a risk the woman has a personality. <laughs> to be honest, Steve, I don't, I don't feel safe right now. You got it. <laughs> is it just the nails, though? Or is it like if the lady is wearing colors? Pride nails are his nightmare. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yo, his worst fear is the entire rainbow at once. Oh, my God. I'm, no. in, da I'm in danger right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Man. You release two dangerous collections, Christine. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, maybe we'll release more. <laughs> hey, you came out here and said that. I'm interested in it because I'm... But look I look at, this, right look now. at this between two men. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm, now, in I'm in danger right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, man. You came out here and said that. I'm yeah, man, you're in danger, man. Yeah, man, don't worry. I got you on my show, man. I'm glad my nails aren't elegant to repel people like this. Yo, same. This this man will come absolutely nowhere near me. Thank thank God. I'm interested in it because I'm. I look, man. I've heard a lot of theories. Look, man. <laughs> but I tell you what. The what theories have you heard, Steve Harvey? What are you talking about? First guy that can come up with the book to figure out women, he's gonna be a billionaire within one year. Let's do it. I'm fairly confident that books like that already exist, and the men who have written them have already profited millions of dollars off of them by selling them to men just like Rocky and Steve. <laughs> Why do men think they can figure out the ladies when you have Anna who can figure out the ladies? You know, we don't need men. We just need Anna's advice. <laughs> Yo, I would love to have a chat with, with Rocky. Mm. I would love to paint Rocky's nails. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll paint them black. So we won't know if he has health insurance, but, you know, it's fine. Now, we're going to put Rocky to the test. We got some guys in the audience who need help decoding women. Where's James? Okay, right, because he's the expert I, I witness here. All right, James, tell, tell us what's going on. All right, so I've been hanging out with this one girl for a while, and, um, like, she's really cool. Like, we're vibing out, and then sometimes, like, she, like, gives me the cold shoulder, and I... Gives you the cold shoulder, yeah. I mean, yes, that was a very nice shade. I've noticed that she always, like, has, like, these long, black, claw-looking nails. Mm. So... Ooh. I just want to know, like, do I continue to pursue her? So I, like, lean back a little. Stay away from the cat, okay? Stay back away from the cat. Uh, I actually brought a photo, too, like, you okay. know. Check out the... Okay. Yo, what's her Instagram? What's her Instagram? That's a great shot. Also, this just in, Steve Harvey has a book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, What Men Really Think About Love, Relationships, Intimacy, and Commitment. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, like, I've heard things over the years about Steve Harvey, but I don't, like, I don't really follow or keep up with him. And <laughs> this is kind of perfect. Wow, look at you, looking so godlike, you know, in white, looking like the perfect husband. Yep. All right, okay, we understand. Guys, should we buy it? <laughs> There's only one left in stock? Oh, no, so many women's and men's lives have changed thanks to you, Steve. 
Guys who treat women like a puzzle instead of the goddesses they are are such a red flag. There is so much good content on this. I'm not going to go down like the other rabbit hole of content about this. But there's like Fresh and Fit is like Guys some podcast of men like who basically just talk about just basically how to manipulate women. <laughs> I mean, they don't use that language. But um, yeah, there's so, mu- there's so much of that. It's like so disappointing. That's not what this stream is. We're going to focus on nails. But, um, you know, it does fit into the larger picture of what we perceive as like men criticizing and speaking on um, how women should appear essentially mostly in order to please them Mm -hmm. that's the world we live in look at the reviews oh god why why men love bitches what the fuck yo i have not been on this side of amazon well i'm not gonna read like these reviews where's the real reviews interesting oh it's french Perfect book for young women. Funny. Not a good look. I'm not happy about the condition of the book. Great read. Very empowering. It provides women great advice and tips. A must read. Okay, so his people wrote these reviews. (laughs) Simple, excellent. All women over 15 should read it and then reread it every year to refresh. It would save a lot of broken hearts. If only girls and ladies could use this everyday guide in the complicated look. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot. Okay. Intensely irritating. I made a few attempts to get into this book, but I could not get past or understand this American jargon. (laughs) I've now given it to a charity shop. Oh, why would you do that to those people? Those poor people. Why would you do that? Yeah. How do you get just the negative reviews? They just said that the book seems used. A joke. Steve Harvey seems like a narcissistic baller who blankets all men to be just like him. I laughed when I looked up the book was published in 2009 and the year he married the woman he claims that's the type of answers that keep a man happy. His wife of two years. He's had two divorces prior to his wife and it's just a matter of time before his creepy ways. Okay. Well, I don't really want to like talk about his personal relationships but just like putting information like this out into the world is kind of the issue save your coins not what i was expecting what were you expecting bridget (laughs) okay yep yep he's a control freak with issues i'm a woman who already thinks like a man he says all men cheat and all men lie about cheating, yet he gives thumbs down to polyamory. He clearly doesn't like honesty. Well, accept the honesty of saying, watch, watch out. I lie and will continue to. And somehow he is Christian? That means Christians have to get married, then the men do whatever they want, including breaking two of the Ten Commandments regularly without admitting it. His message, don't expect men to be good, expect them to be stupid and hypocritical. That's a good summary. I feel like I yeah (laughs) oh my god all men cheat (laughs) yeah also all men cheat (laughs) all right well now we have some background context we have some foundation on the steve harvey as the expert oh (laughs) black nails okay so after countless hours of research what do you think hours of research means scrolling on tiktok all the bros have decided that black nails is going to be a 50-50 chance, <laughs> okay? So, James... 50-50 chance of what? 50-50 chance that you're going to get laid? Like, what, what, is, what is the metric? Do you like take risks? Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to the casino and played roulette? Oh, yeah. Okay. Would you put your life savings on black? I don't know. It depends on how many drinks I had. You, you got- <laughs> <laughs> Would you put your life savings on one color? Is he saying like if you date someone, it's like putting your life, investing your life savings? Oh my God, dude, it's really not that serious. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I like that one. So yeah, if she's banging, get health insurance, you're good to go. If she's banging, like if she's hot and she has health insurance, you're good to go. 
All right. So. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, Lamont has a question about women's nails. Where's Lamont? So how you doing, Steve? How's everybody? So listen, I have trouble reading women, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so I have these mutual friends where we're hanging out, and there's one of, one of the girls, she's actually really pretty, she seems like a genuine person. And, you know, she's been giving me the vibes, you know, kind of feeling me, so I, sh I went for my shot. So I asked out to dinner, and then she immediately told me she had a boyfriend. So I was kind of confused. I said, well, all right, well, where's all the energy coming from, right? So I noticed that every time I saw her, she had these really long nails, but they were bright red, like really bright Ooh. red. Yo, that's fine, according to Anna. Well, are we supposed to believe these are quality men talking about quality women? Yes, we are abso absolutely supposed to see these men as quality men that we aspire to obtain. But we got to go to etiquette class. We got to take Anna's classes. We can sign up now. I'm sure it's like only $1,000 for a few weeks of classes. But like, we're going to get there. <laughs> So you see the red nails? Yeah, so that's looking right super at them. Da super dangerous. Red nails super are dangerous, just like your sports car? Super dangerous. Super dangerous. And then you got the long length. So long length means that she's powerful. She's oh, no, you do not want a powerful, independent woman. Independent. She don't need no one. So, J uh, Lamont, you got played. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me summarize for you. Lady has long red nails equals she's independent. She doesn't need a man. And, uh, you know, she can take care of herself. She probably has health insurance. So this boy, he got played. <laughs> because if the woman doesn't heavily rely and need you in order to, you know, get her places, buy her things, uh, get her clothes, get her a car, and to finance her entire life, then you're, you, you've you definitely been played, yet yeah, you need the woman to rely on you. It's okay, you know, you, you dodge the bullet, just go for the friend. You dodge the <laughs> bullet, like, what bullet? <laughs> okay, like, I just wanna say, I also acknowledge that they're also trying to be funny. Obviously, there's a, there's a nugget of not truth in here where they're just trying to exaggerate and be funny and they say things like you dodged a bullet even though you know that's that's hyperbole like I, we we understand that you know but this is just so stupid like this is funny to react to but i don't understand how it's funny to sit in the audience and watch like, i don't know what it is like to me this is entertaining that this exists because i'm like wow these people are hilarious but to sit in the audience and unironically be like yes that red nail bitch <laughs> like what well, why is that funny <laughs> this is astrology for men yeah exactly you can't be a proper woman if you are independent and hard working go back to the woman behind the first question what do you mean this Sorry, Ben, I don't understand. In the audience, which women? All these women who are, like, not impressed? <laughs> oh, we didn't even do audience analysis. So, uh, I actually brought a photo, too, like, you okay. know. The photo? Check out the... Okay. Oh, <laughs> black nails. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been to the casino and played roulette? Oh, yeah. Okay. Would you put your life savings on black? I don't know. It depends on how many drinks I had. You, you got... <laughs> <laughs> It kind of looked like she was like true. <laughs> I like that one. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a body dating, language expert. Health insurance, I'm not gonna pretend to, go. to be. All right. So. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I don't know. Those ladies did not look impressed. All right, Lamont has a question about women's nails. Where's Lamont? So how you doing, Steve? Well. All right, well, where's all the energy coming from, right? So I noticed that every time I saw her, she had these really long nails, but they were bright red. Dangerous. Super dangerous. Super dangerous. Got yeah, we got the long it. Length. Kick her to so the long curb. Length means that she's powerful. She's independent. She don't need no one. So, Menchie, be a lady. J Lamont, you got. Guys, Menchie. Menchie. Look at this lady. Cover yourself appropriately. Me 
Frenchie. Played, but it's okay. You know, you, you dodge the bullet, just go for the friend. You're good to go. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, wait. I want to see their faces. The, the faces in the audience. Right, right. <laughs> Doesn't know what to think. Kind of cringed a little bit. Is not impressed. Also not impressed. Um, just clapping. Doesn't know why she's here. This guy does not look impressed. <laughs> He's like side eyeing someone. These ladies look like they just got the information of their of their of the year. <laughs> Rocky. Okay. What's next? I wish you luck with this nail theory. <laughs> yeah. Hang in there, Rocky. That's going to gonna be what. But I love it. I love your guts. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming, Rocky. Thank you, man. That was pretty good, man. That was pretty good, man. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this. Okay, Steve. Thank you for that. Um... I do want to get. I have that. Hold on. Um, I have the TikTok that went viral. Let me let me just get it. I want to find it. So that that rocky person we just saw was a viral TikTok. So I want to watch it from the sort or tweet or TikTok, one of those, you know, all the same thing. That's me, Rocky. So let's let's just watch it from the source. This is Rocky, tired of chasing the wrong girl. Just found out your girl is psycho. Want to know the signs before making that investment? My book, Nails at First Sight, will help you. This went viral. Look, 82,000 <laughs> retweets, 2019. I remember when this came out and people were like asking me to make a video, but then I, I didn't. That's not going to show the whole thing. All right. All right, guys. I had so many bros always ask me, Rocky, how do you know the signs? How do you know that she was going to break my heart? How do you know that she was going to rob me from my dignity? Sorry, there's no captions on this. But he's just, um, he's he is narrating it. How do you know every single time? After countless hours of research and asking bros around the world, I've come up with a foolproof survival guide. Nails at first sight. So my bros don't get hurt again. All right, so the most crucial thing about... Look at this. He made a report with his friends. Probably got like, you know, 68%. Bro needs to understand is color, 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 okay? So right here, we're going to have the nude colors. I call these the safe color shades. Guaranteed. Guaranteed to be safe. Guaranteed safe nudes. Clothes. You don't have to hold your balls while you're sleeping. And you might expect breakfast in the morning. Okay, so these are the... I would call these not even really nudes. These are blush. Like, there's like some blush pinks. There's some sand, kind of amber colors. Um, he's a little quiet. Okay, I'll turn it up. Also, this is not the definition of nudes. Cautious colors. It's Rocky's it's the white, definition. The black, and the French nails. Can be it looks like an elementary school presentation. Yo, we've all done this. We have all... We've all printed something on Corel WordPerfect or Word documents, and then we put it in one of these plastic sheet holders and submitted it to our teacher. And I think that's what Rocky did. So we're going to evaluate him. Be safe, can be dangerous, can be normal, can be crazy. I just don't know, okay? 50 50. <laughs> all right, right here, we're going to have the danger colors. That's going to be the green. Make sure you have health insurance and life insurance. Like you, like the man. Why? Because she's going to. Clearly, she's going to stab your eyes out. The red, the orange, and the yellow. All right? Please, bros, I beg of you. Get health insurance. If you're going to be partying, you're going to hanging out with this, get health insurance. Another okay, now we understand better what he meant. Because I was unclear on this Steve Harvey show. He did not present it, you know, in a clear way. You as the man need health insurance. Got it. Okay, right. Because she's so psycho with a rainbow. She's she's going to hurt you. Yes. Got it. The thing I want to let you guys know is stay away from yellow, most important. Objection foundation. If she has the courage to get yellow nails, she has the courage to chop up your balls. All right, so once we're done with... Wait, what did you say? She was has the courage to chop off your balls? To chop up your balls. Yeah. 
All right, so once we're done with colors, we're gonna look- I've seen this before, this exact pictorial. It's like floats around the internet whenever you, you Google, <laughs> like a nail shape. Man, she's um, getting her claws ready. <laughs> yeah, she, look at her <laughs> grooming her little bean toes. She's ready to slice Rocky. Look at shapes. Shapes equal the mood. So the ones I would stay away from is Mountain Peak, Stiletto, and Arrowhead. So he doesn't like pointy nails. No He's reason. scared of them. They're fucking weapons. Weapons of mass destruction. They are meant to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you we're gonna go to so size. Funny, guys. Girls always say size does not matter. Wrong. Size does matter. Here we're gonna have the regular nails. So the signs that you might see girls don't. Like, you know they're being funny because they're like health, strength, stamina, dexterity, weapons. That's like what you do in video games, right? Where you like list <laughs> how, mu how many points on each type of, um, you know, metric. Sending love from the UK. Done my first year of, of uni. Congratulations, Liz. Thank you for the super chat. Don't get mad at me. I said might. Okay. Pumpkin spice latte. Signs pumpkin spice latte face masks. Lululemon. It's not ombre. It's balayage. Oh my God. Daddy does not know how to twerk brunch on Sundays. Okay. We're, we're done with that one. Oh, I'm blocking her. Okay, there you go. All right. Give me a second while I <laughs> grab some more amazing content. <laughs> Good Lord. Hello, ladies. Here. Hello ladies, today something Oops. Okay, this was shared by someone in the uh, react content simply discord server elegant and classy nails chic style by Caroline Oh, someone disagrees with them Let's watch. Being different again. I hope you're going to enjoy. We're going to speak about nails. Yep. So let's have a look what kind of nails are uh, more elegant than others. What kind of uh, nails My mic is so tacky. Uh, should you avoid? And what is the best length? What is the best shape? Let's just go deep, straight deep inside the subject. Like, she seems nice from the, like, five seconds that I just judged her. <laughs> but, like, what is the best length and the best shape is just not a sentence that should exist. Or the best color. Unless you're saying so ironically. So, first of, of all, let's uh, talk about colors. Because that's something very... Um, very common people thinking uh, or women thinking that um, we shouldn't put some kind of color on the nails and yes I can agree there is few colors we should uh, avoid what kind of colors are like a strong neon uh... what about lipstick if you can't have colors on your nails can you have colored lipstick or are we supposed to think that's natural uh, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> Yo, that's the same picture. Uh, Anna, who's getting the material from who? Men are so unpredictable. Don't get their theories. So unpredictable or predictable? Just finished doing my nails with left on red encryption key and solar unicorn skin. Does this classify my nails as elegant or tacky? <laughs> I mean, red has been accepted, uh, you know, th there's competing arguments. I don't know if, if this lady accepts red, 
Um, Rocky did not, but Anna did. You know, Solar Unicorn Skin, they never spoke about special effects or sparkles or unicorns, so I'm, I'm not sure, but, like, maybe it could pass. Why do they all hate Neon? Because their inner soul is really boring. <laughs> because they're, there's no brightness in their lives. <laughs> they just Google long nail. Yeah, exactly. I think it's interesting that all three of these women are Eastern European. Well, it's not like I was trying to find a, re a representative sample, so I don't think we can judge that just based on the three videos I happen to choose, and they're all, you know, Eastern European women. But I, I see your point. These statements are not based on anything except one's opinion. Yes, exactly. Objection. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> not expert testimony. It's ballet slipper or death. Okay, th thanks for reminding me. That's what I wanted to do. Ballet slipper queen. Let me grab that. I wanted to discuss this because I find this so interesting. I don't know if I'm like alone in this. Join my thing. So I've definitely seen articles about SE here. I'll put on music. Are you guys familiar with um, Essie's ballet slippers? I constantly see articles about how it's kind of the aspirational shade for people to wear. Um, to look elegant. I see it in like Vogue and all these different magazines. Look, glamour, womeninhome.com. Okay, maybe that one's not surprising. Town and country mag, southern living. <laughs> Yo, okay, that's kind of a trend. But like Cosmo, Insider, Allure. And there's this, I've seen this discourse a lot about how the Queen of England apparently only wears one of Essie's polishes called ballet slippers. And let's see if I can find, oh yeah, apparently Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, all the British royalty wear only, exclusively wear this one Essie polish. And maybe this is where some of the sentiment is coming from, which I wonder. So like people in the UK, and I did see some people earlier kind of talk about this, that there is some influence that the royal family has on the perception of ladies appearing elegant. And I think this might be part of that. Not the only thing, but this is kind of like what I see from my perspective as a, you know, Canadian, is when you constantly see media about what the royal family particularly will literally like only the women are wearing. I've never seen, I never see articles about what the men in the royal family are wearing. It's only what the women are wearing, right? It's how I saw tons of press about what Kate, who Kate Middleton was wearing, where you can get her dress. Same with Meghan Markle when she was kind of more recently popularized. And then the queen also having a favorite nail polish. Apparently, Queen Elizabeth has been exclusively wearing her favorite $9 nail polish shade for over 30 years and thinks all other colors are vulgar. Yo, let's, I need to see that source. The reason why Kate Middleton doesn't wear nail polish. The queen has strict guidelines in place. <gasps> are you not allowed to wear nail polish it, with the exception of SE ballet slippers? According to OK Magazine, so take this with a healthy spoonful of British store brand salt. So like what, is this not fact checked? I'm so confused. There is a rule in place which comes from the queen stating that colored nail polish or gasp, fake nails, does not meet royal standards and are considered vulgar. This sounds like hearsay though. Objection hearsay. <laughs> I've watched too much trial. I cannot communicate like a normal person anymore. 
Um, so I don't know if I believe that she actually gave that directive unless someone has actual evidence that she gave that directive. But um, it does seem to be at least perpetuated in social media discourse that that is how the royal family thinks and operates. Oh, Menchi. Menchi said, I object. <laughs> Sustained. Thanks, guys. I'll continue. <laughs> Like, is this just hearsay? Like, most of the time, the queen prefers her nails bare and buffed. Or, or, like, I understand you might be observing it, but is that... Like, I would like to hear it from her. Put her on the witness stand. But then all... Okay, so she doesn't like nail polish, but also, this is her favorite shade. And it's an Amazon affiliate link. Interesting. So interesting. <laughs> Cosmopolitan.com. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, I believe that they would like a color like this because it's, you know, very neutral in line with Anna's rules for the proper lady. That's very true, actually. They are not allowed it. When Megan had some dark nail polish once on a royal engagement, there was quite a big scandal. A scandal among who, though? Was it just like the public and the press writing articles about how they could not believe that Megan had a dark color of, of green on her nails? Can you believe it? Or like, was there actually a press release put out by the royal family saying, we do not accept dark nail polish in this family? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Let me have a word with the queen. I'm ready to go to Britain. I'm ready to go to her castle and have a conversation about nail polish. She's stuck in 1989, but even then, like, you can have nail colors. <laughs> Due to position, they are not allowed to display personal choice of out outlandish style as part of status and not wanting to be perceived as frivolous with the country's money. But like painting your nails doesn't cost that much. I'd say like the crown and the jewels you wear just cost like a, just a little bit more. So I don't, I don't believe that that's the argument. I don't think that is why the royal family is like, we can't paint our nails because people will think we're spending taxpayer dollars. No, 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 people think you spend taxpayer dollars if you have giant jewels all over your, your head and your body, <laughs> like that's what it is. I mean, among other things, but. She's stuck in the 1950s. Yeah, I mean, I do not know much uh, about the monarchy other than the queen is on Canadian money. Uh, we learned about it in school, but other than that, it doesn't really affect the daily lives of most Canadians, I would say. So yeah, I'm absolutely not someone who's like in the know about it, but all these rules about what is perceived or considered to be proper has always been strange to me because it just feels like a big performance and it feels like an outdated performance. And I do think that I'm hoping uh, people realize, people in positions of power, whether you're an influencer or you're British royalty, you have an impact on society and how people perceive themselves and how people treat other people based on how people dress, look, or whatever. So I do think you do have somewhat of a responsibility in that position to also consider the impact of what you say and do and what you say is good and bad. So I know I may not be the queen, <laughs> but like I also similarly have an influence on people. Not the entirety of Europe, but you know. Imagine being dethroned because of nail polish. Yeah, like what? I wonder how she feels about the colors of Canadian money. Yo, good point. Canadian money comes in so many colors. Actually, let me show you. Canadian money. <laughs> Guys, I will teach you something I do know. I will show you the queen. Guys, this is our money. And we're supposed to believe she's not rich. <laughs> yeah, we have super colorful money, but so does Europe, right? Like Europe also has colorful money. Uh, but the best picture is probably like somewhere that shows hollow. So there's the queen on our $20 bills. Here you can see it's hollow. It's actually quite beautiful. <laughs> Let's just all wear real hollow and call it a day. Exactly, Dominic. If our money can be fabulous, why can't our nails? Like, 
let's do like European. European money bills. <laughs> European money is pretty too. It's smaller. It's smaller compared to Canadian, like in size, but it's colorful and looks cool. And now let's look at American. <laughs> Yo, guys, you have the greatest, supposedly the greatest country in the world. Why is your money so boring? I don't understand. <laughs> Come on guys, come on Americans, get with the times. Let's get colorful, let's get hollow, let's get waterproof. <laughs> let's get some rainbow money and piss off Rocky. Who even uses cash though? I mean, okay, sorry, that's, that's not a fair statement to say. Generally speaking, most people have used less cash just in terms of like the type of transaction because of COVID. So increasingly so, more businesses are accepting credit cards, whereas maybe some businesses previously didn't uh, because, you know, everyone's kind of going remote. So does this make our money elegant? I guess American money is the most elegant, but it's, I would argue it's boring. <laughs> I haven't had cash and used it in years. Yo, I kind of want to do a poll. I'm just interested. Do you use cash to buy things? Like actual cash? Or actually, I'm gonna change that question. Hold on. Survey design needs more thought. So like, for which type of payment do you transact with the most? Actual, like cash, like what we're looking at here? Um, credit or debit card or otherwise a card. Well, why can't I type? Credit or debit card. Um, check. Uh, direct online services. So like, the, this is like PayPal, etc. PayPal, Venmo, blah, 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 blah. Like anything that's just directly online, including, no, if you use your bank, then it'd be cash, it'd be, it'd, it would be debit card, because it'd be like direct online. This could be online, but this is like other services online. I don't know why I'm interested in this question. I just wanna know right now. I should have asked this question two years ago and then asked again now, and then we could have done like a temporal analysis and compared results. So Amazon Pay would count in direct online services. If it's anything except directly from your bank, but it's online, just use direct online services. So like PayPal, Apple Pay, Amazon Pay, Google Pay. I know technically you fund Google Pay with like your credit card, but just what's the easiest for you? What do you actually transact with? Most of the time. And yes, it's possible to use PayPal online and, and debit uh, in store, but um, which one is more often? Like me personally, I'm transacting online way more often. So I'd probably put the online one or I would put credit or debit card because I use my credit card online. Like those would be top for me. I rarely use cash, first of all, because like I don't really go anywhere. And second of all, when I do go places, most of the places I go accept debit or credit card and it's a lot easier just to use the tap touch. <laughs> Checks are used in grocery stores sometimes? That's interesting, I had no idea. I remember when I worked at Chopper's Drug Mart, we did not accept checks. I don't know if that's changed. You guys answer that poll. That's not what I meant. Hmm. 
All right, someone linked me to a quiz. <laughs> quiz, what nail shape fits your personality? Let's do this and we'll end on that. Okay, let me close the poll first. What is your most used payment type? Credit and debit card, absolutely winning. And then, oh, interesting. Okay, see, see, I yeah, I'm a little bit different probably than average because I, I, I don't have to leave my house. But yeah, there's certainly more um, industries where more cash will be used. So yeah, 13% are still using cash, but I bet you that's drastically decreased. That probably used to be more of a split with credit and debit card. I'm sure there's data on this somewhere, like someone else has done this survey for real, but it's interesting just to see that. 0% said checks. <laughs> F for checks. <laughs> Cancel checks. Okay, if this is short, I'll do this now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's only ten questions, so we can do it. What nail shape fits your personality? Oops, I meant to take off Menchi, <laughs> not me. What type of shoes would you go would you go for when going to the mall? Uh, sneakers. What is your idea of a perfect date? Chilling at home. <laughs> What color? Yo, they're gonna give me boring nails. What color do you prefer? Hollow. Uh, I'll say black. What would you rather do on your day off? Hang out with friends, go to a party, relax in your PJs, spend time with family, go to the park, play video games. Um, relax at home in my PJs. With which Disney princess do you relate to the most? I don't relate to any of them. I don't, I don't care. Tiana, Pocahontas, Merida, Elsa, Ariel, Moana. I, I don't even know like what is being implied, but I think I only know the Little Mermaid the best. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> Do people consider you more outgoing, quiet, playful, loving, confident, loyal? Um, I don't think people consider me strongly any of these. I guess loyal, because I'm like super dedicated to whatever I do. Maybe, I don't know. When offered a drink, what will you choose? Tea? Why is tea and coffee in the same one? No, just tea. Okay, but then there was iced tea, wine, cocktail, water, smoothie. Oh, I like smoothies too, but I would say tea. How do you prefer to wear your hair? Bun, curl styled, straightened, ponytail, braided. I woke up like this. Uh, I do put my hair up. Probably ponytail or bun, like one or the other. I'll just say ponytail because that's what I'm wearing today. <laughs> Christine, you're not Ariel. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really follow the princesses and understand their personality types. <laughs> so I don't know. What would you rather wear? Dress, skirt, jeans, leggings, shorts, one piece. Where's sweatpants? Is like one piece what I'm supposed to pick if I want comfortable sweatpants? Probably. What would you prefer to get as a gift? Makeup, homemade gift made with love, something edible, luxurious wine. <laughs> $500 wine bottles actually. Spa treatment, jewelry, like none of these. Nail polish. I guess I'll say makeup just because that's the closest to nail polish. Okay, let's see, ready to send, let's see. Round, you are practical, however, does not mean you are boring. Oh, thank you. You will still try new things, but are quite set in your ways when it comes to certain aspects of your life. You are very ambitious and determined when you set your mind to something. G yeah, that's true. Okay, so guys, I, I need to reshape my nails. <laughs> But like, why, why is a round nail this description? This is like when cosmetics companies tell you your horoscope and say, therefore you need to buy this color of lipstick. That's what this is. I've 
seen that with nail polish too. They go, oh my God, it's Scorpio season. Here's the color you need as a Scorpio. Also, here's your horoscope. Round is elegant. Yeah, they got that one wrong. What shape are my nails? But I feel like they're squoval. Also, what does Anna say about this now? That's really crooked. This is my other hand. My middle finger is always, always crooked. I was born this way. Um, I'm sure Anna would say I should, I should fix that. <laughs> Please send you the link. Okay. I put the link to this the nail tech diaries quiz oh we could have had it on dark mode damn why didn't you tell me it's uh yeah the nail tech diaries quiz your genetics are not elegant i know i'm so sad guys my nail is crooked it's probably because i was like trying to get out when i was born <laughs> Link's not working. Oh, maybe it's because it had like a weird extension. Try try that link, sorry. Now have Ben do the quiz. Maybe he'll he'll do it on his own stream. <laughs> there, did that link work? It's weird. It says database error? What? working for me that's weird okay now it works all right and just yeah reminder obviously you guys know do not go to anyone's videos or tw twitters or whatever we watched and say anything it's all in good fun i think that it there's a lot of interesting conversation around uh the nail ideals of beauty and how that is supposed to dictate or say something about your level of class and even intelligence almost was like an undertone in there and ability to get a man <laughs> so yeah that's why we're just having fun watching that kind of stuff i think it's interesting good content to react to we are just having fun no trolling no trolling allowed you also got round Oh, someone got square. I feel like, yeah, did anyone get squoval? All right, Um. okay, I think we're gonna end it there. On Wednesday, I will start gaming again. So that's gonna be exciting. I am still figuring out whether or not I should start Detroit Become Human, which so many of you have told me I need to play because it closely aligns with subject matters I am interested in including like ethics, but also artificial intelligence. But before I commit to playing that game, I have to download it and make sure that I can manage it with the controller and my my non-elegant tacky nails. <laughs> so uh, because that one's more involved with the controller, I gotta make sure that it's gonna work. No, not Fortnite. No, not Fortnite. <laughs> so yeah. I'll let you guys know. You'll see on my stream or on this channel, I normally schedule a stream at least the day before. So you'll see uh, it's scheduled and it'll confirm exactly which game I'll be playing on Wednesday. So Wednesdays, we'll go back to gaming. And then Saturdays, we'll, you know, we'll do nails or, or this, Simply Reacts. I like Simply Reacts every now and then. It gives me an opportunity to just like chat with you guys instead of just painting. My nails are tired sometimes. What happened to Life is Strange? We will play that as well. I'm just debating whether or not I can do Detroit Become Human first. What time on Wednesdays? At 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 2 p.m. Pacific Time. I don't know the times off my head in the rest of the world, but if you just search, what is 5 p.m. Eastern in my time zone? <laughs> That's what time I stream on Wednesdays.
I love Detroit Become Human. Please play it, but practice the quick times. Oh, I need to practice. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much to the mods. Thank you guys for joining me. I mean, thank you ladies for joining me. It was absolutely wonderful. I hope you learned exactly how to present yourself to the world to know exactly like, don't be tacky, okay? Get that man. You got to keep that man and make sure that he's making the correct investment. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and uh, I will see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>